Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to um, show you how to derive Hero's formula for the area of a triangle. And here's the uh, so-called Hero's formula. By the way, um, there's a different way to uh, say the name, and that's Heron's formula. So H-E-R-O-N as opposed to Hero. But I like Hero better, so there it is. Um, yeah, the formula is here, and the capital S-U-C is half of the perimeter, um, also known as the semi-perimeter. Um, so, as you see, uh, this formula depends only on knowledge of the three sides of the triangle, the length of the three sides of the triangle. So if you know the length of the three sides of a triangle, then without finding the altitude or the height, you can just use Hero's formula to find the area of the triangle. So I'll do one more video where I give you examples of Hero's formula, but in this video we're going to derive this formula. In other words, we're going to see where this formula comes about. Um, so, like I said, you don't need to draw an altitude when you're using Hero's formula, but to derive it, uh, we need to draw an altitude to our triangle. So, suppose you start with this visual that I have here. First, notice that using this right triangle right there, uh, we can write that um, x squared um, plus um, h squared um, is equal to uh, b squared, right? And also note that the length of... Uh, side CB is that, it's little a, uh, but we've divided side CB into two parts, uh, x here and y here. Um, and uh, first, note that using the right triangle on the right side, we can write, uh, similar to this equation, um, we can write, and I'll do it in a different color, we can write that uh, y squared um, plus h squared uh, is equal to c squared, right? Okay, cool. Um, now, note that y is equal to a minus x. y is equal to a minus x. So we can substitute for this y with a minus x. So we can write a minus x squared uh, plus h squared is equal to c squared, right? Okay, cool. Now, a minus x all squared is a squared minus 2ax um, a squared minus 2ax uh, and then plus x squared and then plus h squared is equal to c squared, right? Uh, this here is equal to that, right? Okay, cool, cool. And also note that this here is that, therefore it's equal to b squared. So we can write this as a squared minus 2ax uh, plus b squared uh, is equal to c squared. Before we go any further, uh, let me remind you that the area of this triangle, since we've drawn an altitude, can be found, uh, the area of triangle ABC that is, can be found using our good old formula, one half base times height, as one half base A, right? So one half A times H, right? Uh, but what we seek to do is um, express this here all in terms of A, B, and C. Therefore, we need to figure out how to rewrite this H here in terms of A, B, and C. And that's what the remainder of the algebra I'm going to do is going to be about, which is expressing this in terms of um, the three sides, A, B, and C, uh, the length of the three sides. So little a, uh, little b, and little c. You get it, you get it. Okay, cool. So with that in mind, with that goal in mind, uh, we should, uh, from this equation, uh, figure out a way to solve for x. That way we just have A, B, and C on one side, right? Well, that would mean that we write, um, we write in our next step A squared uh, plus B squared uh, and then minus C squared is equal to 2AX, right? And um, in our uh, step to follow, 2AX. Um, and the next step, what we have to do is divide this very last equation by uh, 2a on both sides. So I'll write the denominator of 2a here, but I'll just get rid of the 2a on the right side, and that's all I'll have to do, right? Okay, so there we are. Now, um, this is what x is, okay? Uh, where does x show up? Here in this expression, right? So then let's um, take this expression, solve for h squared, and substitute with what we just learned x is, right? Uh, and we won't need uh, 
everything above the expression where x is isolated, or the equation I should say. So let's uh, get rid of all else and move this guy up here. And, um, and we need the space, so let's move this over here. And as I just said uh, a little bit ago, we see that from this equation, we could get uh, h squared to equal uh, b squared minus x squared. But wait, using difference of squares, that means h squared is equal to b minus x times b plus x, right? Okay, cool. Uh, but wait, we had gotten an expression for x all in terms of a, b, and c right there. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to replace this x and that x with this guy right there. And when we do, there is a little bit of algebra work to do, uh, but that's pretty much all we need to get this h to be all in terms of a, b, and c. So we're on the um, finishing stretch. Uh, but yeah, first, uh, h squared will equal, uh, what does b minus x uh, look like? It will be b minus x is this junk again. So that will be, um, let me uh, make a little bit of room. You'll see why. Uh, b minus, and then it will be um, x is, um, so let me use a bigger parenthesis, x is a squared plus b squared uh, minus c squared, uh, and then all divided by 2a, right? And uh, all of this here is just b minus x. Now, uh, to simplify b minus x, first I should multiply by 2a here so that I could divide by 2a and then get a common denominator. And then next is I should um, distribute this minus sign to that, that, and that. And then I could rearrange uh, the numerator that will result. Notice that I already have common denominators. And so if I so chose, I could write my numerator as follows, which is this here is going to be positive c squared. So I'm going to lead with that positive c squared. And then I'm going to keep a minus sign and then write a squared and then uh, plus b squared. And then I could put this inside uh, of this parenthesis here if I wrote minus 2ab, right? So what I'm saying is other than dividing by uh, 2a, what I have here is consistent with what we have there. Yeah? Okay, cool. Uh, but I actually want to put this guy uh, between these two guys. So I'm going to rewrite it a little bit differently as a squared minus 2ab and then uh, plus b squared. You see where we're going with this, don't you? Okay, and then of course I have all of this divided by, um, I have all of this divided by um, 2a. And so um, this here is correctly b minus x, but it's also beautiful because we know that this is just uh, the quantity a minus b all squared, right? That's a binomial we're familiar with. So uh, let me backtrack and write it as what we know it to be, which is, um, it's uh, a minus b all squared, what we had there, right? Okay, cool. And um, and that's that. And then we have divide by, uh, divide by this divide by um, 2a, right? Okay. And this again is b minus x. So we need to multiply by b plus x. And um, b plus x is going to uh, work out very similarly. So first we can write... Uh, 2ab, uh, anticipating that we need to get common denominators. And then otherwise, it will be like uh, plus a squared uh, plus b squared uh, minus c squared, uh, so that I don't skip too many details. Let me fill you in in some, some uh, details, right, on this part. And then we'll have this divided by 2a. So this being um, b plus a should be easy enough to see. And then you should reckon what I'm going to do, which is um, take that guy, right, these three first terms, and write them as the quantity a plus b all squared. So if I do that, I'll have to write, um, I'll have to write uh, a plus b uh, all squared, and then minus c squared. Uh, and then of course, I have divided by 2a, right? Um, divide by 2a. And all of this equals h squared, right? 
Okay, and we don't need the previous line, which was incomplete anyway. I was only saying h squared equals b minus x, right? So let me get rid of that and um, slide this up. And uh, perhaps we don't need uh, this step either. We most certainly need the space. So uh, let me just slide this up. Yeah, okay, cool. Where to from here? Well, you should see that we've got a difference of squares right there. Like it's of the form x squared minus y squared. And that's x plus y times x minus y. Uh, and on the left side is again h squared. So we'll have h squared equals, uh, first I guess I can lead by uh, the product of those being in the denominator. So I can write one over uh, one divided by, h squared is equal to one divided by four a squared and then times, and now I just have this and that to deal with. And like I said, um, this here, the, the numerator uh, here can be thought of as a difference of squares. And so I could factor it as uh, x minus y times x plus y, where again, x is c and y is a minus b. So doing that, I could write uh, c minus a minus b, and then um, times, right? c plus uh, a minus b. And then this too is a difference of squares. So I can write that as, um, I could write that as um, a plus b um, minus c and then um, a plus b uh, plus c. Okay. Uh, I just need one more parenthesis and then we're good. Ah, sorry, I don't know if I could fit in. There we are. Okay, cool. So now what? Now um, we have, um, uh, I guess I could write down low, uh, h squared is equal to uh, one over four a squared and then times, what is this here? That's, um, that's, uh, C plus B minus A. It's C plus B minus A times, times what? And this here is C plus A minus B. C plus A minus B. Okay. And what is this? That's A plus B minus C. A plus B minus C. And then what is that? That's just A plus B plus C. Got it. So this is what h squared uh, equals. Okay, so let's get rid of all of this. And perhaps we don't need any of this anymore. Um, I don't need this either. So we're almost there, guys. <laughs> uh, yes, this derivation is interesting, but it's also quite a lot of work, as I said at the start. Okay, uh, now these quantities are easy to replace. The easiest of them is this last guy. And since we have a plus b plus c divided by 2 is equal to s, the semi-perimeter, it's clear that a plus b plus c is equal to 2s, right? So uh, I can lead with him. I can write the value of this first, which is 2s. So we have h squared is equal to 1 over 4a squared times, uh, if I write this first again, we have times um, 2s, right? So 2s times what? Well, notice that this here is 2s minus 2a, because 2s would be uh, 2s would be 2s would be um, a plus b plus c, and then if I do 2s minus 2a, that's gonna say a plus b plus c minus 2a, which is b plus c minus a, or c plus b minus a. Either way, so this is um, 2s minus 2a. So I have, um, I have, um, sorry, let me backtrack. Yeah, 2s minus 2a. And then, uh, as you could imagine, this here is 2s minus 2b. So 2s minus 2b. Uh, you already see um, how we're going to finish, right? Uh, and then this here is 2s minus 2c. 2s minus 2c. There we are. Um, okay, 
So we see that h squared will equal 1 over 4a squared and then uh, times I've got 1, 2. I can factor out a 2 from there. I can factor out a 2 from there and I can factor out a 2 from there. So uh, in total I have 4 2's multiplied. So I have 16 and then times uh, I'll have s times s minus a times uh, s minus b times uh, s minus c right and then I could do this which is uh, this 4 and that 16 cancel into a 4 and if I take the square root of both sides then I'll get that um, the square root of uh, both sides of this equation after I've canceled that 4 and that 16 there and what I'm gonna get is um, that h will equal the square root of h will equal the square root of um, in the numerator, it will be the square root of um, s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. And then in the denominator, it will be the square root of uh, a squared, which will just be um, uh, a. And of course, I forgot to take the square root of 4, which is 2. So that's h. But wait, that means if I replace this h there with this, we're going to have 1 half of a, which by the way, uh, cancels with 2 over a, right? 1 half a times 2 over a is going to cancel. And then what we'll have left will be uh, just the expression, I circled too much, but yeah, just the expression, no, I circled too little, that there, you get it, you get it. Basically, if you take this h here and replace that h there, you get Hero's formula for the area of our triangle ABC as desired. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, uh, take care. Keep watching. And as I said, there'll be like uh, examples of this.